Good evening, I'm Leah McNeil. The State Department of Health has expanded its list of Texans eligible to be vaccinated. Starting tomorrow, those over the age of 50 can get their shots. They'll be a part of Phase 1C. The state says expanding vaccinations will help protect the most vulnerable population groups. And Harker Heights police are investigating after a stolen vehicle crashed into a ditch on US 190. The owner of the car says she stepped out of the vehicle at a rental property and less than a minute later, a man got in and took off. The driver crashed heading toward Nolanville and officials say he was airlifted to a hospital. Authorities tell us the investigation is ongoing. No updates on the suspect's condition have been given at this time. Now let's check in with weather with meteorologist Josh Johns. Josh, how's it looking out there? Well, we're going to have a chilly night tonight with temperatures dropping down to the lower 40s, but it won't last. We're talking mid 80s for Monday, lower 80s for Tuesday with westerly winds blowing. Small rain chances work in Tuesday. Our better storm chances come in Tuesday night into Wednesday morning with our next storm system that's going to come in. Right now, I think the severe weather threat looks low, but we'll keep watching it for you. After that, some cooler weather working in just after St. Patrick's Day, 60s Thursday and Friday, and the next storm system doesn't arrive until early next week.